hello students in the previous class we have studied about the general characteristics of uh, living organisms which is comparing with the non living things that what we have studied in two videos apart from that in the previous uh, video we have discussed about the diversity in living organisms or diversity in the living world in that we have discussed about the the important factor is nomenclature nomenclature is nothing but giving scientific names to the organism that much we have completed in the previous video why it is necessary to give scientific names to the organisms scientific names andre vaidyanika hesaru pratiyondu pranigu kuda pratiyondu jeevigalu kuda ondu vaidyanika hesaru kodabekanta decide madidru why it is essential because common name starts confusion to avoid that they start giving the scientific names so now the scientific names are first normally given by so now scientific names supposed to be giving to the organisms that has been introduced by carolus linnaeus carolus linnaeus carolus linnaeus who has been first man and he has been introduced why it is essential to give scientific names to the organism carolus linnaeus en madad andre yake naavu scientific names kodbeku why we have to give the scientific names to the organism anta explanation kottavaru carolus linnaeus first time right from that giving scientific name it has been started i told you it is like a cradle ceremony how it is to be taking place in our house right carolus linnaeus this is an important one nomenclature first start madidavaru carolus linnaeus now we have to observe that apart from this immediately it is not possible to give the scientific names maneyalli obbu hesaru idbekadre so now we are searching in the internet also why it is because which one is suitable for that child yav hesaru suitable anta now try maadi then we are supposed to be giving like that once we are supposed to be giving the scientific name to the organism means this name should not be given to other animal bere organism ge matte ade hesaru kodabardu and that way it has been prepared so why it is essential to avoid confusion why it is supposed to be confusion because one name has to be given one animal it has been given to several names one day animal ge bahalashtu hesaru irutu in various reasons also we can observe that several names are there to avoid confusion they start giving the scientific names so scientific names has to be giving normally plants as well as the animals so in the plants you can observe that the scientific name starts how on what basis they start giving the scientific name scientific names has to be giving on the basis of mainly the certain principles and criteria ಅದು ಯಾವ ಥರ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ನಾವು ಹೆಸರು ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ಮಾಡಿ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ರೈಟೀರಿಯಾ ಆನ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ರೈಟೀರಿಯಾ ದೇ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹೌದಾ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ರೈಟೀರಿಯಾ ಯಾರ ಹೆಸರು ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಬೋತ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಎನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ scientific names has to be provided provide madbekadre yav basis mele kodbeku on what basis it has been given means on the basis of certain principles and criteria howda so now that has been provided by normally two organization it has been observed one is called as icjn another one is icbn icjn these are normally providing names to the animals jadan international code of ic jadan andre international code of international code of zoological nomenclature international code of zoological nomenclature icbn means international code of international code of botanical nomenclature international code of botanical nomenclature 
So these two you can observe that the ICZN and ICBN they start giving the scientific names to the plants as well as animals based on certain principles and criteria. So now ICZN International Code of Zoological Nomenclature Zoology Animals. So they start giving scientific names to the animals. ICBN International Code of Botanical Nomenclature means these are supposed to be giving scientific names to the plants. This is one more question. So expand ICZN, expand ICBN नंतर क्या बोलते हैं? उन दो botanical nomenclature इन उन दो zoological nomenclature नंतर है वो। So like this, they start giving the scientific names. Why it is essential? Because to avoid confusion and the scientific names must be accepted throughout the world. ये लाख रे इन दो वंदे ने मिले हुए को वंदे normally acceptation रे हुए को that is why it is normally giving the scientific names. So, who has been proposed for giving scientific names? Carolus Linnaeus. Why it is essential? One example, one small example I will give how the names are supposed to be confusion. Names are out there confusion. Carolus Linnaeus gave one example that is starfish. Starfish. Cuttlefish. What the? Starfish is cuttlefish, silverfish. So, Carolus Linnaeus explain about these things. Starfish, cuttlefish, silverfish, then carp. He has asked a certain question that among these, which one is a true fish? So now, we don't have answer because of, because this also we can call it as fish. This is also fish, this is also fish, this is also fish. Which one is true fish means? All are fishes only they said. No. The true fish is carp. Because it comes under Pisces. So then what are these? Starfish is there, cuttlefish is there, silverfish is there. So now, silverfish comes under Arthropoda. Cuttlefish comes under the Sapia Mollusca. Starfish comes under Echinodermata. These are normally considered as invertebrates. These are considered as invertebrates. Even a Kashair Kugalu. Kashair Kugal under Pisces. Pisces one separate class is there among the chordate. So he has explained about these things. To avoid confusion means these three also you are calling it as a fish. This one is also calling it as a fish. Which one is true fish? We don't have answer. Because in the category of fish and theory, simple common name it is. Ignore the other. Looking like star, living in water. Hence it is called a starfish. But this name is not accepted throughout the world. In other region, these three are not called as fish. Very regionally you fish as an angle. You fish as. According to our convenience, Namu Kanivin Salwagi, so we have normally given the name fish here. But these are not true fishes. No doubt that they are living in water. But now true fishes are this one. Chordate group Nali Vartakanta, true fishes on the Karit. Right? So this is an example I have given that why we are going to start giving scientific names. Why it is essential that is establishment of ICZN and the ICBN. It is because of that only one name has to be given. Bare name is only one name is 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 one common name it is. Attendance is one name is scientific name. So throughout life that name has to be given. So in this way ICZN matto ICBN these two organization you can observe that normally they start giving the scientific name with respect to plants as well as the animals based on principles and criteria. Now after observation we can observe that then they made certain rules also. Calvin the rules model. How to give the scientific names? Scientific names have certain rules it has been made. So next uh, I am going to explain about that rules of binomial nomenclature. You also write down that is important in the examination for three marks. Rules of 
नेक्स्ट रूल्स ऑफ बाइनोमियल बाइनोमियल नोमेन क्लेचर सो नाउ यू हैव टू ऑब्जर्व दैट बिफोर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द रूल्स ऑफ नोमेन क्लेचर फर्स्ट वी हैव टू ऑब्जर्व दैट वॉट इज मीन बाय द टर्म बाइनोमियल नोमेन क्लेचर earlier you come across about the nomenclature meaning giving scientific names to the organisms but now here definition is different illi bere bantu word binomial nomenclature binomial nomenclature means i am giving definition then we are moving toward the rules so binomial nomenclature means definition of binomial nomenclature first is move on then we will move on to the rules binomial nomenclature so now definition in that the binomial meaning is every scientific name consisting of two components adu one fixed maadibittu every scientific name composed of two components every scientific name every scientific name composed of athwa made up of made up of two components that is genus and species athwa generic name and the specific epithet anta kuda karithu generic name or the specific epithet that also we are going to observe that so every scientific name made up of two component that is genus and species for example homo sapiens for example homo sapiens homo is the thing but the genus sapiens is the species idu genus idu species so now this is what we are going to observe that every scientific name composed of or made up of two components one the hesaru nalli ಎರಡು ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ಟೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಜನರಿಕ್ ನೇಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ನೇಮ್ ಅಂತ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಜೀನಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಬೈನಾಮ್ ಇನ್ ನಾಮಿನ್ ಕ್ಲೇಚರ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ತ್ರೀ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಏನು ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಬೈನಾಮ್ ಇನ್ ನಾಮಿನ್ ಕ್ಲೇಚರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಬೈ ಹರ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ನಾಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಎರಡು ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬೈನಾಮ್ ಎಲ್ ನೊಮೆನ್ ಕ್ಲೇಚರ್ ಅಂತ ವರ್ಡ್ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಹೋಮೋ ಸೇಪಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಮ್ಯಾಂಜಿಫೆರಾ ಇಂಡಿಕಾ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಅನದರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯಾಂಜಿಫೆರಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಜಿಫೆರಾ ಇಂಡಿಕಾ Mangifera indica just you have to observe that the mango Mangifera indica mango this is the genus this is the species now in the previous class i told you about that the definition of the genus previous class we have observed about the definition of the species ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೆ ಆರ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಆರ್ಗನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಬ್ರೀಡ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ಥಮ್ಸಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ಫರ್ಟೈಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಕೂಡ ಹೇಳಿತ್ತು ಈ ಜೀನಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ರಿಮೇನಿಂಗ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೆಸರಿ ಜೀನಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಜೀನಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೀನಸ್ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಬರ್ತವೆ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೀನಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಜೀನಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಜನರಿಕ್ ನೇಮ್ ಅಂತ ಕೂಡ ಕರೀತು ಸೊ ನಾವು ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೀನಸ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸಿಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಮಾರ್ಫಾಲಜಿಕಲ್ characters similar morphological characters group of different species with similar morphological characters is called as genus what do you mean by this 
last class we have studied that group of or group of same species different species all illi group of different species are there so now here group of different species with similar morphological characters meaning i will tell you that yesterday what we have studied this is region that is normally made up of the or enormous amount of the cat species ella cat go kudu next we are observing that in that region enormous andre nearly plenty of tigers are there follow in this region dogs are there so what do fox are there next to fox fox one species dog one species cat one species tiger one species idu species definition now we have to club one or two species adr jothege you club madbeku on what basis we are clubbing on the basis of easily observable characters on the basis of normally morphological characters ig yav yav club madtiri tiger and dog we cannot club so here we are clubbing the animals on the basis of morphological character morphological character jothe yav club madide andre tiger and cat anatomical characters are different morphological characters nodadaga eradu onde nodu yavadu nodu morphological characters external characters nodli keradu onde thara kanisthu by observing both are looking same we can see the face of tiger as well as the cat on this basis we have club two spaces eradu spaces anna club madidu when we are clubbing two spaces that is called as an genus that is the definition group of different spaces ಇದ್ರ ತರನೇ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಇತ್ತಂದ್ರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಹಾರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಾಂಕಿ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಬೈ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವಬಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ನೋಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಎರಡು ಒಂದೇ ತರ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ದು ಸೊ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾವು ಬೈ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಮಾರ್ಫಾಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಕ್ಲಬ್ಡ್ ಟೂ ಸ್ಪೇಸಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಜೀನಸ್ ಇದು ಒಂದೇ ಮ್ಯಾಂಜಿ ಫೆರಾ ಇಂಡಿಕ ಒಂದೇ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಯು ಗೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗೋ mango sikta vanta nagadi hodre varieties of mango he is normally keeping ee varieties of mango antandre apus mango is different venetian antirth venetian one species apus another species we have clubbed all those things andre several species are clubbed to form genus group of species different species with similar morphological characters all are called as mangoes only adakke one particular species hesaru kuda kottidare that is because of the characters right this is the species and genus scientific name only yerdu word irutha one the genus or generic name or specific epithet or the species name because of these two names it is called as binomial yerdu name irodakke it is called as binomial followed we have discussed about that defin three two definitions here ಒಂದು ಬೈನಾಮಿ ನಾಮಿನ್ ಕ್ಲೇಚರ್ ಒಂದು ಜೀನಸ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸಿಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ರೈಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೈನಾಮಿಯಲ್ ನೊಮೆನ್ ಕ್ಲೇಚರ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೈನಾಮಿಯಲ್ ನೊಮೆನ್ ಕ್ಲೇಚರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಮಾರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಈ ಸಲ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇದೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಕೆಪ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇವನ್ ಸಿ ಇ ಟಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ನೀಟ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಬಂದಿತ್ತು ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ನೇಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ನೇಮ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ that is genus and species or generic name or specific epithet that one also we have to write idu already explanation agide second one is all the scientific names all the scientific names are in latin language all the scientific names are in latin language third one first letter of the genus 
first letter of the genus must be capital and first letter of the species must be small fourth one this i will explain later on fourth one the names must be underlined during hand written during hand written comma when printed it must be in italics it must be in italics last one fifth one you can observe that the at the end of scientific name at the end of scientific name that is after spaces after spaces scientist name to be written in abbreviated form in abbreviated form these are the rules very simple rules are there what we are observing here so first one is new kuda barkobeku because it is important in the examination what i am dealing every scientific name consists of two word that is genus and species this already explained based because of this it is called as binomial nomenclature next all the scientific names are in latin language ella vaidyanika hesaragalu latin bhashayalli ne irutve this is tooth one next is this language it then first letter of the genus must be capital ig one example to ori we can take one example then we come to know that mangifera indica that is mango mangifera indica that is mango we can fulfill whatever we have written here in this example example mangifera indica andre mango oda this is commonly called as a mango so now first letter of the genus must be capital this is a genus first id avalu first word genus irutade next species irutade so mangifera is the genus first letter of the genus must be capital adana illa right it is there next is first letter of the species must be small follow everything you can the same you can observe the same thing here if for example felis tigris felis tigris canis santamarthu dog so now canis canis important thing is first letter of the genus must be capital first letter of the species must be small ig now whenever we are writing in english language tiger anta bari andre we cannot write small t alli capital t ne bari bo this small word small letter when we are using means whenever we are writing scientific names scientific name baradaga matra your rules applicable aagutave not in general you can see that tiger baradaga then canis baradaga different homo sapiens so whenever you are writing tiger means there t capital only we have to write but during the time of scientific name we have to write 
ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿಯ ಮಾತ್ರ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೂರು ಮುಗಿತ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ರೈಟ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈನ್ಡ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ವರ್ಡ್ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈನ್ಡ್ ಸಪರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಬರ್ಕೋರಿ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈನ್ ಸಪರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಹೌದಾ ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈನ್ಡ್ ಸಪರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ನಾವು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈನ್ಡ್ ಸಪರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈನ್ಡ್ ಸಪರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈನ್ಡ್ ಸಪರೇಟ್ಲಿ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈನ್ಡ್ ಸಪರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಬರ್ಕೊಂಡಿರಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಸಪರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಮುಂದಿನ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಇರ್ತದೆ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈನ್ಡ್ ಸಪರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಹಿಯರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಜಿ ಫೆರಾ ಇಂಡಿಕಾ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಅದು ನಾನು ಮೊದಲು ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡಂತ ಇದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಕಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ದಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಇಷ್ಟು ಸ್ಕೇಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೊಡಿಬಾರ್ದು ಈ ಥರ ಬೈ ಅಪ್ಲೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಕೇಲ್ ಸೊ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಮ್ಯಾಂಜಿ ಫೆರ ಆದಮೇಲೆ ಗ್ಯಾಪ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಂಡಿಕಾ ಹೌದಾ ಯಾವಾಗ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ನಾವು ನೋಟ್ಬುಕ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದಟ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವೆನ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿನ್ ಇಟಾಲಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹೌದಾ ಈ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಟೈಪಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಅವಾಗ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ನೇಮ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕ್ಲಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ಲಿ ದ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಲೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಅವು ಇಟಾಲಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಫಾಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಪ್ರಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ಇಟಾಲಿಕ್ಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಬರೀಬೇಕಾದ್ರೂ ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ಹಿಂಗೆ ಬರೀಬೋದು ಇಟಾಲಿಕ್ಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಸ್ಲಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಬೇಕ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸ್ಲಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈನ್ ಸಪರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಇಟಾಲಿಕ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ನೇಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸಿಸ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ನೇಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ಅಬ್ರಿವೇಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ನೇಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಅಬ್ರಿವೇಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಜಿ ಫೆರಾ ಇಂಡಿಕಾ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಜಿ ಫೆರಾ ಇಂಡಿಕಾ ಅನ್ನ ಯಾರು ಹೆಸರು ಇಟ್ಟರಪ್ಪ who has been proposed this name and then the scientist name bari for example linnaeus etra antu doddu bari bar carolus linnaeus antu so now we have to write here dot lin in abbreviated form now rest on important is mangifera indica dot lin so now lin andre linnaeus linnaeus obbre hesare ittilla several scientists are also involved for giving the scientific name those who given the name that you have to write afterwards adonde kelkondru they are not normally informed that to give gift or presentation after naming ceremony but the thing is we have to write here so that everyone should know igno nanupide benji fra indica it or linnaeus hoda so in this way this is the presentation or the gift that what we are supposed to be giving to them so struggle will be there because still so many examples are there so many organisms are there still we have not given the scientific names so now these are the rules of nomenclature you have to be perfect it because it is important for three more question binomial nomenclature one here then we is one rules kuda nodkobeku we have to write it even twice also and bahar uh, madan necessary beda take one example write the example with lin id one nane pitre automatically you go on writing first latin language then uh, normally every scientific names have two components already i have written that that is called as binomial nomenclature then first letter of the genus must be capital first letter of the species must be small like that
of the so many organisms are there birds are are also there here parrot is there various kinds of parrot is going to be observed yaru ne kelidre namu gottil parrot what we are saying that is a red parrot green parrot like this blue color parrot parrot only we are saying that and when the insect it may be there in the plant material means we are saying that it is a kind of insect because we don't know about the name scientific names also we don't know common names also it has not been kept so that millions of uh, organisms are there still we have not given the scientific names work is under progress for giving the scientific names so what we have observed that diversity in the living organisms only already i told you that nearly 1.7 to 1.8 millions of organisms are there ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಆರ್ಗನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಹೆಸರು ಕೊಡಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕಾಮನ್ ನೇಮ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ರೈಟೀರಿಯಾ ರೈಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಗ ಏನೇನಾಯಿತು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ಎನಿಮಲ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಆರ್ಗನಿಸಮ್ ಅದೇನಾಯಿತು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಯಿತು ನೊಮೆನ್ ಕ್ಲೇಚರ್ ಆಯಿತು ನಾವು ವಿ ಆರ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೆಸರ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇನ್ ಡಿಟೇಲ್ so one animal we have observed that is identification name we have given that is the nomenclature over now what we are going to observe that that terimal has to be kept in certain region so that easily we are going to be recognized so we are going to make the classification so what do you mean by the term classification yakandre individual organism or the individual animal it is not possible to study so because of this we have to normally make the classification classification andre grouping of classification means grouping of organisms grouping of organisms into its convenient categories grouping of organisms into its convenient categories is called as classification grouping of organisms andre on yav base mele group martide based on certain easily observable characters we made the grouping that is classification classification martide andre nam easy act study madlik yake why it is if for example you can take mammals mammals you can observe that we are studying that mammal mammalia anta ot human beings only only comes in the mammals no other animals are there how the mammals only have marthu so many tiger is there donkey is there horse is there cat is there rat is there bat is there so many organisms are there whether is it possible to study an individual organism no that is why we made grouping yav basis mele grouping madidre on the basis of easily observable characters one that the character nodu body is covered by hairs all are having the memory glands on this basis we have clubbed certain animals followed all of you fishes are there certain fishes we can observe that all those fishes which are present in the aquatic mode of life so in this manner they comes under the fishes group reptiles are there birds are there flight adaptation is going to be found wings are going to be well developed bipedal locomotion we are going to be observed in the birds andre normally you can observe that ig bipedal andre usually you can observe two legged animals andre human beings bartane adare illi in the case of birds four limbs and the hind limbs are there four limbs and hind limbs with the help of four limbs and hind limbs they are able to move so what i am going to tell you about these things animals are the mammals our birds amphibians we made classification totally you can observe that all these are clubbed pisces to mammals we have clubbed on what basis we have clubbed on the basis of only one character because all are having vertebral column they are all vertebrates anta bunt so in this way we made classification in vertebrates are separated and vertebrates are normally separate so in this manner classification madidru first identification is over nomenclature is over then start grouping of organism for to study easily 
convenient nasalvagi then we start making the classification grouping of organisms into its convenient category so in this way classification has been started so we have we made the classification so one do definition birth away common carola serenius has been given one common name it is identification classification and naming the organisms all these together we can call as taxonomy and the one one ex exam that is definition you write down the definition we have to write it here identification identification comma classification classification and naming the organisms naming the organisms naming the organisms called taxonomy and the word taxonomy Good. classification is the scientist they made grouping of organisms for example we are saying that pisces amphibia reptilia is mammalia you have studied this is also grouping of organisms now we are thinking that why don't mammals kept first why fishes are normally first idi yake mammals na name classification maadidru grouping of organisms we made then the mammals act first to go illa andre because first aquatic fishes they are all aquatic in condition so in this manner step by step fishes amphibian yake it rupa fishes andile reptiles act illilla why reptiles are not there yakandre because fishes are the amphibians you can observe that in the embryological characters fishes are showing certain uh, amphibians are showing fish character hoda ig frog ide during the developmental condition or the tadpole stage they are exhibiting the fish character respiration takes place by gills tadpole stage no no tadpole stage you can observe that it is looking like fish only that is why after fishes or even uh, even you can observe that the amphibians are reptile could it after fishes amphibians kept fishes are an immediate amphibians it true yakandre amphibians are showing certain fishes character fishes are the next reptiles because reptiles are showing certain amphibian character no no neelo agirutave then again they are present both land and water but respiration takes place by lungs that what we are observing next aves are there aves are lying there some certain characters are there in the aves aves are only certain reptile characters we are observing yeah, okay. have you observed any reptile characters in the birds reptile character in the body is covered by scales horny scales are do you find any scales in the birds yes we are observing the scales in the birds body is covered by